Lease the 2024 ES300 Hybrid for $4.99 a month for 36 months. Now it's 7 a.m. on Today in L.A. Weekend. A search is underway right now for four people. Police say they're involved in a deadly shooting out of Central Alameda in South L.A. What officers say led to the shooting and what we're learning about the victims. And another protest encampment has popped up at another L.A. area college where this one is located as other schools hold their graduations this weekend. And we have those clouds out there, but don't worry, we're going to see some sunshine today on Mother's Day. I'll have the details in your first alert weather forecast, let you know when we're going to see it. You're watching NBC4. Here's what's happening today in L.A. Well, good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, May 12th. It is Mother's Day. A live look over Malibu, high above the clouds. It's going to be a nice start to your Mother's Day. A little cloudy out there, but we're going to get the sunshine. Thank you for waking up with us. I'm Michelle Vias. Let's give you what you want. Uh, a clean kitchen. Mom always wants a clean kitchen. A good weather forecast. Dishes done. Yes, dishes done. Not a big Room messy cleaned. kitchen. And some money might help. Right? Yeah, some maybe flowers. some sleep too. Some yeah. sleep. There's there a lot, lot of requests. And lots of sunshine for maybe some uh, lunch. Lunch plans, brunch plans, yeah. I think, you know, mamas all deserve it. And yes, uh, do. what I can provide you is a good message, good weather. Uh, we do have the clouds out there, and we will tell you that the weather is going to be great today. So if you have any plans to enjoy with mom here outside, uh, we've got some sunshine coming. I know it's gray right now, but that is a typical May gray we get here every May in Southern California. Will not last very long. We'll see it lift as we hit to lunch. In San Pedro, you'll be mostly sunny. You're at 62 right now. Now, I do want to show you the visibility map because we do have some issues in the Inland Empire. The lower the number, that's where we're seeing the thickest fog. So if you live in Temecula, you go outside and you see that those clouds are hanging low. That means you got to drive safely out there because we will see it stay thick all the way through the IE. And then once you get into LA County, that's where things start to clear up and the cloud deck is a little higher. So like I mentioned, that's going to be the case for the morning. We'll get to the afternoon and you've got sunshine coming your way. The beach is 68, 74 for you in LA, Orange County, 83 for the valleys and Inland Empire. Warmer for the deserts with mostly sunny skies and for the mountains. The wind is calm. It is clear right now. The sun is shining and it is a beautiful way to celebrate mom. That's been a look at your forecast. We'll have a look at the rest of your week coming up. Michelle, back to you. Some news right now developing out of central Alameda and South LA. Two people are dead and another in the hospital after this shooting. LAPD tells us they're searching for at least four suspects right now. The shooting happened last night just before 730 along Washington and Alameda. We're told the suspects approached the victims, fired shots and then ran off. A woman and man were killed. Another man was taken to the hospital in critical condition. The investigation continues this morning. Also developing, another evacuation is underway this morning in Gaza. Palestinians are leaving the territory's southernmost city after getting an urgent warning from Israel. More than a million Palestinians have been sheltering in Rafah. But now, according to the Israel Defense Forces, the city is now considered a dangerous combat zone. Civilians are being warned that Israel will act with extreme force against Hamas terrorists found in the city. They're being told to take shelter in a designated humanitarian zone. Well, the new phase of the war comes despite warnings and pressure from the United States. Earlier this week, the Biden administration said it would not provide Israel with certain weapons should it launch a large-scale ground offensive in Rafah. And now to our continuing coverage.